Yo, what's good, y'all, man? We got the Ant Man, the Wops, Quantum Mania, Sneak Peek. You feel me? Ant Man's in trouble. So what happened? They 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 linked it out once again. What happened, y'all, man? Let let me know in the comments below what really happened. You know what I mean? We had and then I think they linked out Loki season. A little sneak peek. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All right, let's, let's see. Hey, everybody, on. how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, oh, the channel hey, where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. The channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris, and today we have two special looks at Ant-Man and the Wasp's Quantumania, both presumably images from the trailer that was released at SDCC and then again at D23. Now, these were both exclusive to the event, so they haven't been dropped worldwide just yet. However, with these looks at Paul Rudd that we're getting, I have A, very nostalgic happiness of Ant-Man throughout the Infinity Saga, and B, a lot of worry for Ant-Man as we're moving into what we already know is going to be an extremely intense and important film for the future of the multiverse saga. As we know, thanks to SDCC, these phases 4, 5, and 6 are composing the multiverse saga, which following the Infinity Saga has had a massive magnifying glass over it as people are analyzing and breaking down and nitpicking every single detail. So, Marvel and Kevin Feige and Disney have a huge task to accomplish if they want to impress their fans in this. The yep. But I mean, I've been around Josh anyway. It's just, it's just uh, other people that, that don't follow Marvel like that. You know what I mean? Type shit. The second saga. Today we're going to talk about these leaked images and every other updates we have for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which we'll be releasing later next year. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the other major movie and television news updates happening daily here on the channel. And you can follow me on my other socials, Instagram at Chris M. Rosser and Twitter at The Culture Chris. Links to both of those are in the description down below. So let's start with this one. It turns out Scott Lang has written a bestseller and it's called Look Out for the Little Guy. Now we've heard reports from the trailers that have released, the exclusive looks, that haven't been released worldwide, that Scott Lang but, but been released on YouTube. Mm -hmm. is in fact annoying most people with his constant chatter about the Avengers and how he's an Avenger and kind of claiming that he saved the day, which to all Welcome aboard the Disney Bundle. To your left, Blockbuster hits with Disney Plus, then Hulu for all fair credit he did by figuring out quantum ram travel and showing i did he did say the world up way later because of rat freedom from the quantum realm you guys know the whole story i don't need to walk you through it but apparently he has been a little bit annoying to those around him constantly going on and on about how he's an avenger in this special look we're able to see that well he's reading his book he's going on and, and doing exactly as he has been described doing kind of puffing himself up remembering how important he was as he was deemed himself an avenger and his first real call to action in civil war that's all he ever talked about so this is a pattern we know paul rudd's atman has talking about captain america and and the sides that he was on and his involvement in civil war now going on into the next saga talking about infinity war and his involvements there now this is important this isn't just something funny that ant-man is doing because in the same trailer there's a part where Ant-Man is talking about how he's an Avenger. And Kang the Conqueror, who does appear in the exclusive footage, recognizes the name, Avenger. You're an Avenger. And he says something among the lines of, Have I killed you before? Yeah, but I was saying, he said, I'm like, damn. I'm like, oh my goodness. Kang the motherfucking Conqueror. <laughs> now, this seems like a little bit of an odd question, because obviously he's there and alive. But you have to keep in mind, Kang is a superior individual who not only has learned how to travel the multiverse, but has learned how to conquer and rule the multiverse. Yep. A previous version of himself, He Who Remains, in fact, created the entire TVA just to keep the other Kangs at bay, to keep them mm. from ever existing, so that they can't conquer and make the entire multiverse their slaves. That was the ending of Loki Season 1. We learned this, that He Who Remains was doing all he knew how to keep his own variants at bay, and that he wasn't the evil one after all. So, 
this individual who has learned to travel and conquer the multiverse has communed and communicated with his own variants. They've interlocked ideas. They've conversed among themselves. Maybe because he's met Ant-Man in the Quantum Realm, he assumes he's also at this level of understanding of the multiverse. And other Ant-Mans have spoken about Kang, who's killed Ant-Man. That's mm -hmm. my best way of explaining it, that Kang really just is on this higher plane of intelligence. Oh, same, boy. Hey, hey. That's, that, that's, you know, that's on me, dog. No care. And the assumption is that everybody just knows each other from the multiverse. He owns the multiverse, the travel of the multiverse. Everything that it entails, Kang is just above and beyond in that aspect. But he asks Scott Lang, have I killed you before? And that's pretty intense. But getting back to this special look, we see a very beaten up Scott Lang, who maybe in this moment isn't so happy to be considered an Avenger. But it's not even just that. Paul Rudd and Scott Lang in the MCU are traditionally known for constantly goofing off, constantly making jokes, even through all the hardships that he as a character had to go through. Everything's a joke, everything's a magic trick, a practical joke. Nothing was ever really taken too, too seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you serious scott lang it is an intense look and whatever or whoever he's serious, looking so at so i say is scott lang here whether it's his dog i can wait to see it though we're gonna come out next year 2020 yeah 2023 or hope he's looking with very very concerned eyes now it's also possible he's looking at kang the conqueror himself and my big question that stems just from this image not necessarily because of this image and what this image is is happening I don't think that this is maybe the moment he dies, but it does make me wonder, what exactly is the weight of Ant-Man and the Wasp 3? Traditionally speaking, now this isn't the case anymore in the MCU, but traditionally speaking, every character got three movies. Iron Man 1 through 3, Captain America 1 through 3. It was Thor 1 through 3 until he got the first four movies. Oh uh, yeah, he did, because every, every, every movie got three movies. Oh, that's not even Marvel, that's his any movies in the uh, movie scene, you know what I'm saying? They always have three movies, then they dip or they got or they get killed. You know the characters, so it's like Ant Man might be killed because I mean three movies. So I'm not saying if you be alive, it's like what the fourth movie gonna be like? You know what I mean? So it's like it's, it's either. I mean, plus it's, they do that shit because they contract by the end of two. So I probably it's probably a contract about to go, and um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying type shit. So he was the first to get a fourth movie, and now Spider-Man's getting a fourth movie. So it is a pop. Yeah, because his contract got read up, re up for Spider-Man. So that's why, yeah. But Ant-Man probably don't don't. His contract about to be ended, so he probably be like, oh hell nah. <laughs> he like hell nah, nah. He nah, he, nah, he fuck with Marvel though. But you know, some people like to just just do three movies. And that's it. Possible <laughs> continued trend that they're not gonna do just three anymore. So that's not necessarily the rule as it was. However, traditionally, in the majority of characters got their three movies and then a couple team-up movies and, it, and it's done. This would be the Oh, huh, bros. Must be really good, actually. The funniest movie of the year has 94% on Rotten His third film, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And he's played his part. He's had his role. His mantle is getting passed down to his daughter, as we've already seen in poster stat. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, he... You know, he's been there, he, he, you know what I'm saying. Who is so. Cassie Lang and will be played by a new actress who was introduced to San Diego Comic-Con. A whole new direction. Maybe she'll join the Young Avengers. Maybe she'll join the regular Avengers, depending on the timeline and how long they're all around. But this could be the end for Ant-Man, who has this lighthearted, goofy personality and mentality. And maybe he'll end up, much like Captain America and Iron Man had character arcs that were risen and character changes where they did the opposite of what they were specifically iron man sacrificing himself and captain america going and kind of leaving that good guy role to become the bad boy that we needed to win the infinity war but overall ant-man might go from this goofy screw up to a very serious individual who puts saving his loved ones above saving himself so it will be incredible to see what happens in this movie and what the overall weight is we know that it is important. We know that we're going to yep. be getting a lot of updates on yeah. A, the multiverse, Kang the Conqueror, who is the current big bad in the MCU, and so many other details that hopefully we'll have our Easter egg peeking eyes open for. There's still a lot of hope that a post credit scene might tease some Fantastic Four. 
although that's looking less and less hopeful, without a confirmed cast, and even rumors that there isn't a cast. But again, the introduction of the Quantum Realm in a further light, beyond just kind of flowing through it to find Janet Van Dyne and floating back, they're going to be in the Quantum Realm for a significant amount of the movie. That's what we're hearing. A good portion of this movie will take place in the Quantum Realm, potentially in different multiverses or different areas of the multiverse, I suppose. And we might be learning more about that hidden city that was teased at us so long ago. Now, whether that's Kang's hidden city or Doom's hidden city or the Fantastic Four or some other thing entirely, I'm very excited to get all these updates. And these two special looks definitely have me more excited. I think this movie is going to be not only extremely important, but extremely well put together and well received. Something mm -hmm. that the multiverse saga maybe needs, although I don't think it's been as bad as everybody's been giving it credit for. It's been a nice, slow building stage with a lot of new feels, new attempts. Yeah, Marvel's Marvel doing a good job, man. They, you know, they're doing a good job. At what an MCU movie can be. But a big blockbuster with an Avenger from the Infinity Saga is something that we are all looking forward to. So, let me know what you guys think about these looks in the comment section down below. And if you're excited for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So always thank you to everybody who watched to the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. And we'll be sure to catch all of you guys in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture. Oh, yeah, no. They, oh, 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 oh. But anyway, man, likes my channel, y'all, man. That was a uh, sneak peek. Well, now we get sneak peek, but you know, we'll talk about the sneak peek. You said, man, the uh, goddamn trailer and shit, though. But, um, yeah, like it up. Let me know kind of below. And, um, yeah. All right. Peace.